Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use greenhouses in Farming Simulator 22 and I'm also going to be doing some tests to see what the best way to make money from them is. So here we have the large greenhouse and you can open the doors and go inside and you can also open this door and go through to the other side. Next we have the medium one and you can open the door and go through to the other side of this one and then we have the small one and you can open the doors on this one as well. Outside we have the water tank where we fill our water and to place down a greenhouse, you open the shop, go to construction, into production, over to greenhouses, and you'll see we have the small one for 3,000, the medium one for 5,000, and the large one for 10,000. So you click on one of them and place it down like this. Now you can also add on a water tank, which will increase your greenhouse's water capacity. So you go into buildings, silo extension, water tank, and place it to the side of your greenhouse like this. And now your greenhouse will hold more water so you won't have to fill it up as much. Now once we've placed down our greenhouses, if we open the menu, go into the production chains, they show up here. And this is where we can activate production on tomatoes, lettuce or strawberries. You can also go inside your greenhouse and go to this icon here and open this up and you can activate production inside here. Once you've placed down your greenhouses, you need to fill them with water. So if I swap into this here, I've just got a lorry with a water tanker on the back and I've placed down one of these water tanks. Now you can place these down in the shop. I'll show you how to do that. You go into the shop, into construction, into buildings, containers, and it's this one here. And you just place it down like that. Now this will charge you for water, but if you don't want to pay to fill up your water, then you can fill it up from any part on the map. So if I open the map and we find a part of water, so over here or here, you can reverse your trailer up to there and you can fill your water up for free. But I'm just using this because it's a lot quicker. Once you've filled up with water, you want to drive over to your greenhouse and out the front we'll see the water tank. And if we drive over there, we'll get the unload sign for water. Now, on this greenhouse, this is a large one, I've placed a water tank outside because these are the greenhouses I'm going to be using to do the tests and see how much money we can make from them. But I do have a large greenhouse down the end that doesn't have a water tank, so I'll fill that one up and we'll see how much more water a greenhouse will hold when we put on a water tank. So if I drive down to the greenhouse that doesn't have a water tank, we'll fill that up and then we'll see the difference in capacity between the two. Okay, I've filled all the greenhouses with water, and as you can see, they're all holding 20,000 litres of water. Now I've got three that have water tanks, and one that does not, and they're all holding the same amount of water. So I'm guessing what will happen is, when we start a production, the ones with the water tanks will refill the water for us, and the one without, we should see the water going down. So we'll start some productions, and we'll see what happens. Okay, the first greenhouse I'm going to start a production in is the large one that doesn't have a water tank. So we should be able to see if the water goes down in this one. And the ones with the water tanks will be able to see if the water refills for us. So to start a production, it's similar to the production chains. We open up the production menu and you'll see we can start a production on tomatoes, lettuce and strawberries. Now in this one, I'm going to start a production on tomatoes, lettuce and strawberries all at the same time. And if we go over to outgoing products, you'll see we have storing, which will generate a pallet outside for us to sell. We have selling, which will sell the products automatically for us every hour. And we have distributing, which will send the products along to a production chain for further processing. Now, the tomatoes and lettuce have nowhere to go once they've been processed. So I'm going to set them to distributing and we'll see what happens. The strawberries should be sent along to the bakery. So I'll set them to distributing and we'll see if they get sent over there. Okay, that's the first production started. Now I've got three more greenhouses. All of these do have water tanks. And what I'm going to do in each one of these is I'm going to open up the production menu and I'll start a production on one single product. So in this one, we'll do tomatoes and I'll set it to storing so that will generate a pallet outside and we can see how much we get of each product. So in the next greenhouse, I'll set this one to lettuce and I'll also put that on storing so we get a pallet and we can see how much we get. And in the third greenhouse, I'll do this one as strawberries. Now what I'm going to do is I'll skip ahead and we can see how much we get from each product. 
Okay, we're back. I've skipped ahead one day, and as you can see, our greenhouse that is producing the strawberries is full up outside of pallets. Now, each pallet of strawberries has 150 litres on and weighs 165 kilograms. And you can move these by hand, which will make it easier when it comes to loading them onto trailers and taking them to sell. And you'll see there that once we move that pallet, another pallet spawned in. So what your greenhouse will do for you, if you have too many pallets outside, it will store them inside your greenhouse, and once you move the pallets, another one will spawn in. So if we go to the greenhouse that's producing the lettuce, we'll see that that is also full of pallets. Each pallet of lettuce is 200 litres and weighs 200 kilograms, and they can also be moved by hand. The next greenhouse we've got is the one that's producing the tomatoes. And each pallet of tomatoes has 100 litres in and weighs 130 kilograms. You can also move them by hand. And the last greenhouse we have is the one where we're producing all three at once and we set the output mode to distributing. So if we open the production tab, you can see that we have 1,030 litres of tomatoes, 515 litres of lettuce and 12 litres of strawberries. So I'm guessing this is working in the same way as the production chains where if the product has nowhere to go once they've been produced, then the greenhouse will store them until we change the output mode to either storing or selling. So I'll head over to the bakery and I'll see if we have any strawberries over there. Here we are at the bakery and if we go and open the production menu, you'll see that we have 2,049 litres of strawberries at the bakery. So they have been sent over from the greenhouse to the bakery for us. So now I'll go back to the greenhouses and we'll change the output mode on the tomatoes and the lettuce and we'll see what happens. Okay, we're back over at the greenhouse, so I'm gonna open the production tab and I'm going to change the tomatoes to storing and that should spawn pallets outside. And there you are, them pallets have spawned in. And now I'll change the lettuce to selling and that should sell what's left. Now selling happens every hour, so I'll speed the time up and I'll come back and we'll see if they sell. Okay, it's 8.59 and at 9 o'clock, all of the lettuce should be sold from our greenhouse. So we'll see if that sells. And there you go, all the lettuce has been sold. So, one thing you could do with the greenhouses is set your output mode to distributing for the tomatoes and lettuces and wait for the price to go up and then set them to selling once the price is at its highest. Now, if we open the menu and look at some prices, You'll see the highest price for lettuce is £1,804. The highest price for tomatoes is £1,027. And the highest price for strawberries is £549. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to load up all the pallets from the greenhouses where we was producing single products and I'm going to take them to the place which is offering the highest price. And we'll see which products are the best to produce in your greenhouses and what ones you make the most money from. Okay, the first pallets I've loaded up to take and sell are the strawberries. And to make sure this was a fair test, I stopped all productions in the greenhouses before I started loading the pallets. So all the greenhouses have had the same time to produce the products, which was one day. And if I get into this lorry, you'll see we have 6,450 litres of strawberries, which I'll take and sell to wherever has the best price. So let's take a look at the prices. Okay, 549 is the best price at the fast food restaurant. So I'll head over there now and see how much we get for them. Here we are at the fast food restaurant. And if we look at my money, I've got 471,602 pound. So we'll get these sold and work out how much we've made from them. I'll just open the side and make sure they're all sold. And they are. Right, now we have 475,144 pounds. So we made £3,542 from the strawberries. Next, I loaded up the lettuce and we have 1,600 litres. So we got more from the strawberries. But if we look at the prices, you'll see it's a lot higher for lettuce with 1,804 being the highest price at the grocery mart. And that's where I've brought them to sell. Now we have £475,144. So we'll get these sold and work out how much we've made again. I'll just make sure they're all sold, and they are. Now we have 478,031 pound. So we've made 2,887 from the lettuce. 
Next, I'll go and load the tomatoes and see what we get from them. So we have 3,100 litres of tomatoes, and if we look at the prices, the best price is 1,027, which is also at the grocery mart. Okay, we have 478,031 pound, so I'll sell these and see what we make. Again, I'll just make sure they're all sold. Right, we have 481,215 pound. So we made 3,184 from the tomatoes. So we made the most money from strawberries and the least money from lettuce. So strawberries are the best to make money from. Now let's open the production tab and see how much water the greenhouses have used. So we've got 16,761 litres of water left in this one and the same left in all the other ones. So the water tanks don't seem to have refilled the greenhouses for us. Now there is one more test I'm going to do and we should see if the water tanks will refill the greenhouses for us. Okay, for this test I'm going to start the production on all three products and set the output mode to storing so we can see how much we get and if it's better to produce single products or all three at once. I'll also start productions in the greenhouses with water tanks to see if the water does get refilled. If we open the shop and look at the water tanks, we can see they are 5,000 litre tanks. So maybe when the greenhouse's water goes down to 15,000 litres, the tanks will refill them. So I'll skip ahead a day and we'll see what happens. Okay, we're back. And let's have a look at how much we got from the greenhouse that's producing all three products. And we've got 622 litres of tomatoes, 477 litres of lettuce, and 1,309 litres of strawberries. So we didn't get as much of each product as when producing just one product at a time. Now let's see if the ones with water tanks have been refilled. And it doesn't look like they have been refilled. So I'm not sure how the water tanks work, but we do know that you make the most money from strawberries and you get the most products by producing one at a time. If anyone does know how the water tanks work, let me know in the comments. Okay, that's everything for today. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like and feel free to subscribe so you never miss another video.